Hey guys, Ryan here. My first ever Uncharted 3 commentary video. This video is going to be about legacy ing. <clears throat> is that what you want to call it? I'm not sure. But legacy is kind of like prestige mode in Call of Duty. That's what everyone else is comparing it to. Now, I recently legacyed. I'm only legacy level 1. I'm 22, I believe, right now. But when you once you legacy, you get these negative boosters. Now, negative boosters are, you know, exactly what they sound like. They put you at a disadvantage. They give you sort of a... They kind of make you change your playstyle a little bit. Now, for me, when I use Fleetfoot, I move fast as hell. I mean, I'm just... I can outstrafe somebody and not get one shot on them, but still win the gunfight. I mean, it's ridiculous. But... Look at that noob moment. But, uh... I mean... Now, now, like once I legacied, you can't, <clears throat> you can't get, excuse me, you can't get Fleetfoot until your legacy, I mean, until your rank 15. And it took me a while to get to rank 15 because, you know, uh, I wasn't using Fleetfoot. So once I got Fleetfoot back, uh, I was doing significantly well. So if you really want to legacy and you have been, uh, you have been leveling up all your boosters and stuff. And you unlock a ton of metal kickbacks. <clears throat> I and you don't want to lose your boosters or metal kickbacks. I would not suggest to um, legacy because all of your boosters and metal kickbacks they all they all erase, and so do your uh, so do your mo so does your money. All of that just goes away once you legacy. So, but I had an idea for uh, for Naughty Dog uh, for the next patch. If you want to legacy, um, you can choose any two, boot, like, you have the option to choose either two, uh, one booster or one metal kickback that you would like to keep once you legacy. Now, for me, I would probably, everybody else would probably choose uh, Fleetfoot, but for me, I would probably choose either the Cluster Bomb or the Mega Bomb, because those are the, those are two, uh, boost, uh, metal, those are two metal kickbacks that you can't unlock until you're like ranked way up there like 50 or 55 and that takes forever but whereas Fleetfoot it doesn't take that long because if you are if you legacy you know what the hell you're doing so you can just get money fast fast as fuck you know but I mean that was an idea that I that I had in mind you know choose either one metal kickback or one booster to keep once you legacy <clears throat> another thing is um uh, rage quitters, like, this is, this is something that I noticed, by the way, uh, rage quitters are becoming a huge part in the Uncharted community, and, to be honest, I am a rage quitter, I cannot go through a match being completely dominated if, uh, and not rage quit, I mean, I'm not trying to say that I won't finish a match if I'm getting dominated, where I will, but if somebody will not leave me the fuck alone, I'm going to fucking rage quit, because I cannot take it. It's ridiculous. You can't roll an inch without being attacked by somebody with a gun in this game. I mean, it's. I mean, I know I sound like a little noob here, but if you if you are ranked at like number ten and you're getting steamrolled through, I can't imagine you not wanting to rage quit. I'm level. I'm rank twenty two legacy, and I still rage quit a few times. But um, there. I mean, I'm trying to stop rage quitting because I know it's ridiculous. I mean. It's not, you know, it's not cool. But I've noticed that it's becoming more and more of a problem nowadays because the recent patch, I think the recent patch said that if you if you quit out during a game, then that counts as a loss. But if you're losing the match anyways, rate of quitting doesn't really matter because it'll just count as a as a loss anyways. But um, some tips I had of not rage quitting. I've done this a lot. Now, if you're, if you think that you're going to quit out of game, what I do is I get the, um, is I go camp for about, for a minute or two, get the covered, get the covered medal, and then go back and play the game. That usually helps me out. Um, not like I mean, if I'm holding my team back, that usually will help us catch up to the other team, and then I can get some shots on my opponents and you know maybe catch up to where everybody else is, and it just helps me out a lot. I'm not. I'm not a camper. Trust me, I am not. Like you see in this match, I'm running around the map, getting a ton of kills. But um, if you're, if you feel like you're gonna rage quit, seriously, just go camp for a minute or two. Don't camp for the rest of the match. Camp for about a minute or two. Get regenerate. You know, 
get calm, either go punch a pillow while you're camping, you know, stuff like that. But there's just a couple of things I don't know that you know you can. That's just a thing you can do if you're going to rage quit. Another thing is if you feel like you're going to rage quit, change your loadout selection. Uh, your loadout selection can be changed if you die, hit the start button, and you can just change your loadout selection right there. You can change it to AK, but but that don't you can't change it like if there's nothing there to change it to. Like you have to have either a Gmall, AK, M9, stuff like that. You have to have one of those selected in a different loadout to be able to choose those. Like for me, I have my loadout selection is Gmall, M9, uh, M9, AK-47, and then Dragon Sniper. So, I usually change my loadout according to the mats. Like, on this map, this Chateau, I use the M9. So, change your loadout if you're completely getting dominated. So, those are a few things. And I had two ideas that I wanted to share with you guys before this video ends. I have about a minute left. One idea is a little gun tutorial thing, you know, a little series where I tell you which guns I like. Um, I'll, actually, I tell you about all the guns in the game and which ones I prefer using on which maps, you know. I give it a rating, you know, stuff like this, where I'll tell you what I like about the gun, what I dislike about it, what what situations the gun is good to, good to be used in. So tell me if you like that idea. So another thing is where I help anybody who sends me a message on PSN this coming Wednesday get a specific gun or specific skeleton skin they want because on my Sir Francis Drake video, people were commenting commenting asking me if I could help them. Now this is your chance. Add me on PSN. My username is Ryan Uncharted. Add me this Wednesday and send me a message on what you want to, me to help you with. And I will tell you if I can help you or if I can't. Okay? So, again, this is Ryan Uncharted. This is my first ever Uncharted 3 commentary video. Tell me if you liked it. Add me on PSN, Ryan Uncharted. See you, Lexi.